Welcome to Chet TV News. Here are your headlines. A fire in Dawson Creek has consumed two homes. A change in seasons means a change to different tires. And the Peace Region Municipal Elections have officially kicked off. Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. A fire in Dawson Creek has consumed two homes in the 700 block of 97A Avenue. Around 5 p.m. Tuesday evening, the Dawson Creek Fire Department responded to a fire call and before 6 p.m. it had entirely consumed Unit 709 and spread to the adjacent property. Fire Chief Gordon Smith said that no one was home where the fire had started and that no one was injured in the blaze. It is the season of changeovers in the piece and after the trees have changed their colors, it is finally time for you to change your winter tires on your vehicles. The Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure is now reminding motorists that winter tires are required on many highways throughout the province from October 1st till March 31st, 2015. A detailed map of these highways as seen here is also available on the link below. The ministry defines winter tires as those with a winter mountain or snowflake symbol or tires that are mud and snow designated. The tire should also be in good condition with a minimum tread depth of 35 millimeters. Chet TV and Peace FM would like to remind all drivers to slow down and drive to road conditions. Listen to Peace FM and check drivebc.ca for the latest on road conditions before you travel. The nominations for municipal elections in the Peace have officially kicked off. The opportunity to apply for a seat on your local district council began on September 30th and is open until October 10th when all nominations will be finalized. At this time, we only know that Mayor Lori Ackerman has submitted her bid for re-election in Fort St. John and Councillor Cheryl Schumann has resubmitted her nomination for a council seat in Dawson Creek. Joanna Kuntz, a Dawson Creek local, is set to submit her nomination for the Dawson Creek City Council on Friday and Taylor's Mayor Fred Jarvis announced earlier this year that he was ending his 20-year run as mayor. Watch our news on Friday and on Monday for updates about the District of Chetwin Council nominations. Northern Health announced its changes to the Connections bus services. They are adding a new online booking system which will hope, they hope will help as an alternative to the call in line. There will also be brand new cameras on the buses to assist drivers and beginning today some of the routes with lower ridership have been changed to better the system. The Prince George and Fort St. John RCMP have arrested a 27-year-old man after they recovered a stolen excavator this past weekend. The suspect was released on a promise to appear in court in December. The Ministry of Agriculture published a document summarizing the recent consultation of the potential changes to the regulations within the Agricultural Land Commission. The ministry brought in consultants to help decide if more activities should be allowed on designated farmland without a required application to the ALC, to what extent these uses should be allowed and what parameters should be put into place for these activities. The Agricultural Land Commission Act helps protect the farmers and their land in British Columbia. For more information on this, check it out on our Facebook page. Another young member of our community put Chetwin on the map. College of Rockies welding apprenticeship student Taryn Gaze has, was chosen to attend the Canadian Welding Association's Can Weld Conference that was wrapping up today in Vancouver. This year's theme for the conference was a welding in the Arctic. Gaze, who was selected because of his expertise in pipe welding, will bring back more knowledge about welding in zero, sub-zero temperatures. The Peace River Regional District will be holding a public information meeting regarding the changes to the building permit bylaw. The first meeting will be held on October 9th at 7 p.m. at the Chetwin Rec Center in the Aspen Room. Copies of the draft bylaw will be, can be found at the regional district offices in Dawson Creek and in Fort St. John. A former Taylor resident, Bradley Kowalczyk, has died in police custody. Kowalczyk was previously wanted by Tree Hills RCMP on a variety of fraud charges. He was alleged to have been luring victims through an online classifieds for high-value farm and industrial equipment. Police say Kowalczyk took deposits on the items and never delivered them. He was being sought by Fort St. John RCMP for similar charges. The Fort St. John RCMP are reminding drivers and pedestrians to share the responsibility of crosswalk safety, particularly in school zones. Constable Jody Schelke says that even though drop-off and pickup zones get congested, it is still an offense to park within six meters of a crosswalk. Pedestrians are being reminded that even though you have the right of way, always look to make sure that approaching vehicles are made aware of your intention to cross and that they have time to stop. 
The 17th annual wedding show in Fort St. John is coming up this weekend. Sunday, October 5th at the Pomeroy Hotel from 1 to 6 p.m. There will be over 40 local vendors, wedding planning seminars, and three different fashion shows. The Junior Canucks have a busy weekend ahead. They host the North Peace Navigators on Friday, then the Fort St. John Huskies Saturday. Peace FM's Matt Nicholson will be calling the games all weekend, and you can listen live at Peace FM 94.5 in Chetwin or 104.1 in Dawson Creek. Five Star Fight League's Vindicated is set for this Friday at the Fort St. John Curling Club. There are 12 fights on the card. Headlining is middleweights Brad Stewart and Brendan Kornberger. Stewart is ranked fifth in Canada under his category. Thank you for watching Chet TV News. You can always tweet me at Warren underscore Callie or email me at Callie at PeaceFM.ca. We leave you now with the Community Thrift Shop's application video. And don't forget to go on the website and vote. Cole Pops is coming up next with weather. TLC Community Thrift Shop and Training Center Society is a group of volunteers and employees uh, with like-minded ideas and one common goal. We uh, reduce, reuse and recycle as much as we can, uh, tons and tons of uh, poundage per year. We also work alongside user groups to provide work experience for special needs children. Uh, children who witness abuse, we work alongside women's shelters, uh, alongside men's shelters, also hospitals and other nonprofit organizations. My name is Lori and I package things up so to put on the store. This young lady is a customer here and she's helping me today because it's hard to package three dolls in one little shot. Out back here we often so sort the donations that come in. Um, and it can be quite a challenge because there can be a wide variety of things in a box. We also look very carefully at the clothing to make sure that there's no buttons missing, no zippers broken, no holes in it. We want to always be able to provide good quality stuff and not low-end uh, cast-offs. Right now when donations come in of slightly used and worn items that have broken zippers or pockets that are ripped off, we unfortunately have to throw them in the landfill. If we had a proper sewing center, we could actually sew zippers in, sew pockets, and be able to save even more from the landfill. My name is Fran and I bought this wedding dress here and I support the TLC's application to BC Hydro for a $10,000 grant. I support the TLC application to BC Hydro to get a sorting center and sewing center. I started volunteering here 14 years ago and it was my way of giving back to the community because I've lived here for 41 years now and I've seen Chetland grow from a small community to a community that's flourishing and it's more than just a thrift shop where you can come to buy your clothes. It's a, a small town community, it's like a hub the hub of Chetland where people come to visit and see and, and see what's new every, every week. Hi there, this is Cole Pops with your Chet TV 7 day weather forecast. Taking a look over at Grand Prairie, today will be becoming cloudy with a 30% chance of showers late this afternoon, a high of 17 and a low of plus 5. Tuesday is looking to be mainly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and clearing overnight with a high of 15. Wednesday will be sunny with a low of plus 4 and a high of 10. Thursday will be sunny with a low of minus 2 and a high of 8. 
Friday is going to be cloudy with a low of plus one and a high of 12. And Saturday is going to have a mix of sun and clouds with a low of six and a high of 19. Sunday will also be a mix of sun and clouds with a low of plus five and a high of 17. Taking a look now at Prince George. Today has some showers happening with a risk of thunderstorms later on in the evening, a low of eight and a high of 20. Tuesday will be mainly sunny with a high of 14 and a low of plus four. Wednesday will be mixes of sun and clouds with a 30% chance of showers and a high of 10, a low of plus two. Thursday will be cloudy with a 60% chance of showers, a high of eight and a low of zero. Friday is going to be uh, harboring a 60% chance of showers as well with a high of 12 and a low of four. And Saturday is going to be cloudy with a 60% chance of showers and a high of 14 with a low of five. Sunday will also have a 60% chance of showers as well as a high of 13 and a low of seven, shaping up to be a wet weekend. Out in Fort St. John, today will be mainly overcast, a high of 18 and a low of plus five. Tuesday is going to have sunny skies and a high of 14 and a low of plus four. Wednesday is looking to have a high of six with a low of plus one with partial 40% chances of snow showers. Thursday is going to be mainly sunny with a high of six and a low of two. And Friday will have a few isolated showers, a high of 11 and a low of two. Take a look at Saturday, it will be mainly sunny with cloudy periods and a high of 12 with a low of eight. And Sunday will be having isolated showers with a high of 15 and a low of seven. Taking a look now at Dawson Creek. Today will be overcast until the evening with a high of 18 and a low of plus six. Tuesday is going to have sunny skies, a high of 14 and a low of six. Wednesday will have some fleeting showers, a high of nine and a low of plus one. Thursday was looking to be a mix of sun and clouds, but mainly sunny, high of six and a low of minus one. Friday will be cloudy with a 60% chance of showers, a high of 13 and a low of plus one. Saturday is looking to be mainly sunny with a high of 14 and a low of plus seven. And Sunday will have some fleeting showers throughout the afternoon, a high of 13 and a low of seven. Now taking a look at Chetwind. Today it is 18 degrees and overcast going into the evening. Tuesday will have sunny skies and a high of 15 and a low of five. Wednesday will have a 40% chance of fleeting showers, high of 14 and a low of six. Thursday will have some clouds, but mainly sunny, a high of seven with a low of minus two. Friday will have a 60% chance of showers and a high of 14 with a low of plus two. Saturday will have 40% chance of some fleeting showers, a high of 13 and a low of eight. And Sunday looking a lot like Saturday, 40% chance of showers, high of 13 and a low of eight. This has been your seven day weather forecast for Chet TV. I'm Cole Pops.